Here is a really, really freaky little parasite called the Dendrogaster. I'm going to give you three guesses as to what kind of animal this is, because it's not the one you expect. So three guesses. Um, if you guessed crustacean, then you're correct. This is a crustacean. It's related to crabs and lobsters. Yeah. So this is what is known as an endoparasite, meaning it parasitizes the inside of an organism as opposed to the outside. So think tapeworms as opposed to lice. So they are on the inside of the organisms that they parasite, parasitize, whoops, which happen to be starfish. I'm going to show you a picture of one of these guys inside a starfish. It's a little freaky, it's a little gross, so trigger warning, scroll away now if you don't want to see it. So this is the Dendrogaster parasite inside of a starfish. So this one you can see up there, that is the female. The males are actually a lot smaller and they just kind of hide tucked in among the female. So how it works, the female, uh, along with the teeny tiny little male, infect the starfish. I'm not sure exactly how they get in. I don't think I want to know how they get in. Regardless, they get in and they grow and spread in kind of a pattern resembling the digestive and reproductive systems of the starfish that they infect. Now, they do infect quite a wide variety of starfish species. Um, there's not really any specific ones I go to more. They've been found in quite a few different ones, so they're kind of non-specific, non-picky about the type of starfish that they infect, it seems, but you can't really tell from the outside that the starfish have been infected by this parasite because it's internal and there's no, like, outside indication, so you can't really tell if there is a parasite inside a starfish without cutting the starfish open. Now, once this crustacean parasite is inside the starfish, it just kind of hangs out. The male and the female do their thing, they make a lot of babies, the babies get released to go infect other unsuspecting starfish, and they also have a secondary, not function, but they have a secondary action of kind of replacing the gonads and the reproduction system of the starfish. So the crustacean infects up there, takes over, turns into this weird branching shape, and then it kind of kills off the gonads of the starfish that it's infecting, so the starfish can no longer reproduce, like, at all. Which is just like, add salt to the wound, why don't ya? But yeah, really freaky, really, really weird, and be glad you're not a starfish.